Deanna Durbin, a luminary of classic Hollywood, endures as a timeless symbol of the entertainment industry. Her enduring qualities lie not merely in her remarkable talent, but also in her ability to resonate across generations. The first recognition of her cinematic prowess serves as a collective memory for many, marking a moment when audiences were captivated by her on-screen presence and vocal prowess. Durbin's legacy is etched in the annals of Hollywood history, leaving an indelible imprint on the hearts of those who have had the pleasure of experiencing her work. Whether through her captivating performances or the sheer impact of her contributions to the golden age of cinema, she remains a fixture in the collective consciousness. We invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to this iconic Hollywood figure. Your stories serve as a testament to the enduring influence of Deanna Durbin. Drop your anecdotes and reflections in the comments below a tribute to a classic era that continues to resonate in the hearts of film enthusiasts. Diana Durbin, originally named Edna Mee, entered the entertainment industry through MGM. Studio head Louis B. Meyer aimed to rebrand her with a glamorous forename. During this process, Durbin suggested Diana as her new name. However, a miscommunication with an MGM public relations man resulted in the name Diana, which received Mayer's endorsement as her professional alias. This incident marked the beginning of her career under the name Diana Durbin. In the 1940s, Diana Durbin dolls, among other types of merchandising, became popular, showcasing her influence and appeal beyond the silver screen. In 1980, addressing rumors about her weight, Durbin submitted a recent photo to Life magazine demonstrating her commitment to dispelling unwarranted speculations about her physical appearance. Deanna Durbin's journey, marked by a studio-initiated name change and commercial success with merchandise, reveals a multifaceted career that extended beyond her performances on screen. Ranked among Universal Pictures' most popular screen personalities in the late 1930s and early 1940s, Deanna Durbin's career was marked by both acclaim and unique challenges. Despite never clinching a spot in the top 10 box office stars, she secured a position in the top 25 stars five times from 1938 to 1944. Notably, she held the 12th rank twice during this period, establishing herself as a cinematic force. However, Durbin's journey wasn't without its share of conflicts. In the film Noir Christmas Holiday, she clashed with director Robert Siodmak over her character's interpretation. This disagreement shed light on her dedication to her craft and the creative tensions that can arise in the film industry. While her first two feature films, Three Smart Girls and One Hundred Men and a Girl, earned Oscar nominations, her subsequent projects didn't follow suit. Despite the early accolades, Durbin's career took a different trajectory, showcasing the unpredictability of the film industry. In retrospect, Deanna Durbin's legacy extends beyond the accolades and conflicts. Her resilience, evident in both commercial success and artistic clashes, paints a nuanced picture of a Hollywood star navigating the complexities of fame. Consider the pivotal moment in the mid-1930s when Deanna Durbin, alongside Judy Garland, faced a studio test of popularity in the musical short every Sunday. Despite Durbin's subsequent dismissal from MGM, her move to Universal marked the beginning of a remarkable career. By 1939, she commanded a salary of $195,000, a testament to her rising stardom. Interestingly, Durbin was a contender for the iconic role of Dorothy Gale in The Wizard of Oz, a role that ultimately went to Judy Garland. This twist of fate underscored the divergent paths their careers took. MGM's lamentation, We Let the Wrong Girl Go, echoed through the industry, highlighting the impact of decisions on Hollywood trajectories. Deanna Durbin's journey, shaped by choices, challenges, and close misses, is a fascinating exploration of Hollywood dynamics. Consider Deanna Durbin's intriguing brush with Disney's iconic Snow White. At the age of 14, she auditioned for the voice of Snow White in Walt Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. However, Disney himself rejected her, deeming her voice too mature. This pivotal moment in Durbin's career sheds light on the challenges and decisions that shaped her trajectory. Despite this setback, her resilience and eventual success in Hollywood demonstrate the unpredictable nature of the entertainment industry. From clashes in film noir to commercial triumphs and missed opportunities, Deanna Durbin's journey is a compelling exploration of Hollywood dynamics. 
Early in her career at MGM, Deanna Durbin had Anders de Segurola as her vocal coach. This collaboration played a crucial role in shaping her vocal abilities, contributing to her success in the entertainment industry. Under Segurola's guidance, Durbin honed her singing skills, laying the foundation for her later accomplishments. This early mentorship marked a pivotal chapter in her artistic development, setting the stage for a remarkable journey in Hollywood. Furthermore, in 1938, Deanna Durbin received a miniature Oscar, a noteworthy recognition that underscored her emerging prominence in the film industry. This accolade not only celebrated her talent, but also hinted at the trajectory her career would take. The miniature Oscar symbolized a milestone in her early career, foreshadowing the commercial success and critical acclaim that would follow. As Durbin navigated the complexities of the entertainment world, her vocal training with Segurola and the acknowledgement through the miniature Oscar became integral components of her evolving narrative. These early experiences shaped her path, influencing the choices she made and the challenges she faced in the years to come. In retrospect, Deanna Durbin's journey, marked by mentorship and early recognition, provides a lens into the formative years of a Hollywood star. These pivotal moments not only shaped her skill set, but also laid the groundwork for a career that would leave a lasting impact on the silver screen. At the pinnacle of her career, Deanna Durbin achieved unparalleled success, becoming the highest paid woman in the United States and the world's highest paid female movie star by the age of 21. Her financial prowess reflected not only her exceptional talent, but also the widespread appeal she held in the entertainment industry. Durbin's meteoric rise to financial prominence signaled a shift in Hollywood dynamics, cementing her as a trailblazing figure in the realm of female stardom. Beyond the silver screen, Durbin's personal life added layers to her narrative. She embraced motherhood, welcoming two children into her family daughter Jessica Louise Jackson, born on February 7, 1946, and son Peter David, born on June 20, 1951. Balancing a thriving career with the responsibilities of motherhood, Durbin navigated the complexities of both worlds, showcasing a resilience that extended beyond her cinematic endeavors. In Italy, her cinematic presence took on a unique dimension as her films resonated with audiences through the voices of renowned dubbers Rosetta Calabetta and Lydia Simonski. Their contributions added a distinct Italian flavor to Durbin's performances, further solidifying her global impact. Deanna Durbin's journey, marked by financial milestones, familial joys, and international recognition, paints a multifaceted portrait of a Hollywood icon. Her ability to command unparalleled earnings and transcend cultural boundaries through dubbing exemplifies the enduring legacy of a woman who left an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. As we bid adieu to this enchanting journey through the cinematic realms, let the luminous trail of Deanna Durbin's artistry linger in her thoughts. Reflect on the silver screen moments that gracefully danced into the tapestry of your memories, leaving an indelible mark on the canvas of your cinephile soul. This isn't just a farewell, it's an invitation to traverse the corridors of your own connection with the ethereal performances that graced screens across time. Take a moment to relive the symphony of emotions she effortlessly orchestrated, resonating with the very essence of human experience. Your reminiscences are the echoes of a bygone era, a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Share the tapestry of your thoughts and let the collective narrative weave a richer, more vibrant mosaic of appreciation for the cinematic legacy she bestowed upon us. In the grand tapestry of entertainment, Deanna Durbin remains a luminary, her brilliance undiminished by the passage of time. Let us extend our gratitude for the magic she spun, the characters she brought to life, and the emotions she stirred within us. As we part ways, thank you for sharing this odyssey of remembrance. Your engagement, your thoughts, and your connection to the cinematic enchantment of Deanna Durbin make this journey all the more poignant. Until our narratives intertwine again, revel in the echoes of timeless performances that transcend the boundaries of eras.